today's Gospel, Monday, June 14, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 38 to 42. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Faith Food Reflection is from Brother Monde Ocampo from Triala Prayer Community. Today's Gospel serves as the fundamental basis of civil law to promote peace and order by way of putting an end to the cycle of vengeance when someone violates his fellow men. Highlighted in the Gospel is that evil should not be opposed with evil, like in the case of vengeance. What would we gain with revenge? Nothing, except further hostility and injury. Then at the end, no winners, only losers. Take for example disagreements and quarrels. If a person will exact revenge for the injury that was caused, it would only become a vicious cycle of disagreements and quarrels with no ending. This is the result of unforgiveness. But what if we take the high road of forgiveness and humility? Things will be okay. There is no hatred or any kind of bad feeling in our hearts. To test humility, I was told by one speaker to pray for humiliation. And the humiliation came with a bang. God has molded me. It is hard to be humble. It is hard to forgive. And it is hard not to retaliate for the injury that was done to us. But let us look at Jesus on the cross and reflect on the wounds that we have carved on his body by our sinfulness. What if he has not forgiven us? What if he did not humble himself for us? Let us pray. Father in heaven, instill humility and forgiveness in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.